hey guys so welcome back to my channel i'm really excited for this video it's gonna be on all things building a business things i've been learning entrepreneurship journey um and just yes the realities of it because i love i literally love this kind of like content like content that's like just gives you like the ins and outs and like the raw like juiciness of it so i thought like you know what let me create this video of just like some different things and i will also in this video i'm just going to be throwing in some clips throughout here of actually me in the moment um discussing the things that i will be saying which i think will be really interesting and put a lot of things into context Speaking of context, I'm going to just provide some more information on who I am and what I do. Um, and yeah, so my name is Victoria Zubike. I am a 25 year old woman who is building a service based business. So I have my own events based. What the Us Group, which is the name of my business, does is we successfully strengthen businesses who are looking to bring on great, talented women to their organizations where actually um, employers can recruit great women so they can meet women and recruit them um, on the spot which I think is really interesting so actually by the time this video comes out yeah we actually will be launching um, an event called She Who Evolves, which literally around this theme. So we're partnering with a company called Stepstone um, and we are going to be holding a great day on the 26th of October. It's a free event and it's going to be filled with like so much inspiration. We've got panels, we've got fireside chats, workshops, live workshops. And then in the afternoon, we almost have like a hiring party, which is really cool. So if you're free and you're looking for roles in particularly in sales, tech, HR in particular, there'll be other industries as well. Definitely do come book the day off as well <laughs> because it's going to be great. Um, yeah, and really interesting. Yeah, so that's it on what I do, just to give you some context on myself. But I'm going to now let's dash into the video. Let's talk about some truths and like, let me show some clips of me living out what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I have realized, and actually I've got to give credit to my incredible business coach because she um, spoke to me about this, um, is you, entrepreneurship or just building a business is almost building a plane and at the same time you are driving that plane. Honestly, this year, boy, like I have been learning so much and changing so much of my business as i've been building it what's really interesting when you start building a business your business will never in that like never look like what it started from when you've just launched it you are constantly changing you're constantly adapting to what the market needs right because you could come out and this happened to me like, i came out I was like i have this idea put my plan together this is what i think is gonna work and i went and started speaking to some clients or like you know ideal clients and they'll be like I don't need this, I need X, Y, Z. So you adapt it, change it, and you're constantly learning. And, but at the same time, you could be winning some clients, but you're still changing it because you want to refine things. So it's like you're winning, you're working on some live projects, but then at the same time, you're changing your business. So you're like, you're working and changing, and you're constantly driving this plane, and then like fixing it. The wing could be where the, I don't know, where the suitcases are meant to be, and you have to change it, and you still need to drive the plane. So this is one thing I've learned this year, is that like, you just have to be so adaptable. I think sometimes it's when you're building something for yourself, it's so easy. It's so easy to get into this mindset of like, I know what's best, like this is what I believe works. And it's almost like, yeah, and they do say like, you know, you do have to have that sense of like, you know, know what you need, but you need to listen to your consumers. You need to make sure that you are providing something that has value because that's what sells value. People are only going to buy something that they need. So I'm going to come into this a bit more about like, you know, solving actually a genuine issue. But essentially, if you are not doing that, if you're not providing the value that the market needs, you'll forever have something. And I had that one point, like so have, forever have something that people just don't really want and need so from yeah that's definitely something i've learned that you need to provide value and also you're driving this plane you're not knowing what you're doing and you are wearing all the hats you're wearing all the hats you are like in my case with my service business something i've learned i am the you know i manage all my clients and then at the same time you know 
and managing bringing new clients in so sales and then you're managing like marketing and then you've got like your maybe your consumer base and or different like stakeholders for example and for those of you maybe who not sure what stakeholders are um they're just different players that are involved in your like the success of what you're running so for example in my case i have you know those who are looking for jobs so women that i have to support and i need to make sure as well you know cvs are sorted out in time if there's a company that wants to you know um recruit like that i can provide them that straight away i can provide them that straight away and then all at the same time still bring in sales still manage marketing still bring in you know make sure that i'm keeping my already existing clients like happy it can be a lot um and very difficult and i just want to stress this as well like i study business management at work so at university and i have realized and i know it's, i really understand why some like entrepreneurs famous entrepreneurs drop out and why people say like your degree or if you study business it is not the same as running a business running a business is so real and you can only like you can only learn on the job you, and you don't actually necessarily need to do what i've done where you just you know you've decided to fall in full time you could do this part time until sure you're ready or but it is real and some of the challenges i've learned and situations i've had to be i've had to deal with right no one could teach me this i had to go through this and i've had you know made some costly mistakes and we're going to talk about this and some but that have turned into great lessons one thing that has definitely helped me is finding the right mentors like i'm so grateful for you know i was like working a full-time job for two years and i had mentors there but when you're building a business you need to find the people that have almost run the race that are like you know 25 years ahead of you and that they can you know support you and i've had like you know like i mentioned now i have a business coach and i invest in that like i don't i pay for her time to help me and that's another thing with like running a business like i believe you now like you are completely on your own and you have to make things work for yourself so you have to invest like i've invested in courses I've youtube the amount of youtube videos i've watched like just different things like a coach to help me because i don't know what i don't know and i'm doing all these elements and i want to make sure at least i am doing it correctly and right so just this whole point is around you know you're building a plane at the same time you are driving it but you can find people who can help you build that plane faster quicker more efficiently and you know just support you on the journey and also learning and i've also learned again just because you study business it, practically and for and like theory it's it's very different <laughs> yeah. even when you feel super stressed and you've got loads of stuff to do for your event that is your minimum because you know you you've got to be looking after yeah. january february march yeah. when you get stressed because you're an entrepreneur you're often on your own right yeah. so when you get stressed it's very easy for you to make the tiny things become the big things so it was actually my boss that gave me that advice he said he said when the tiny things become the big things it means you need to take a step back yeah right and and this is why why you know when you started asking me those questions and i said wow i'm so pleased we're talking about this this week it's perfect timing because the best activity to do when you're worried about the small things mm. when something is starting to take over your stress levels is you take a step back and you work out your plan for the next week so next up is definitely failures and mistakes and one thing i have learned right i, I remember watching a like podcast episode of like one woman she was talking about like how she always knows i think she's like a vc like she was a she was an investor and she said i know somebody is going to make a great typically um going to make a b great you know business owner entrepreneur how many times they failed and they're not scared of failing or risk like these are fundamentals like with these are essentially fundamental for especially failing you have are okay to fail and to keep on going because it is inevitable like you're building something doing something you may not have a blueprint and it is hard so when you want to reach new levels they require new versions of yourself which is you know you have to to get to a new version sometimes you're going to have to go through hard situations so failures and mistakes is definitely part of the journey of building anything to be honest but in particular failure um in a business in particular in a business is part of the journey but you have to be so okay with that even said than done but um learning more and more like you do and 
And actually now I'm gonna insert a clip probably of just like a time I was going through learning, it was hard, difficult, um, and some of the mistakes I was making. I, so I literally just came back from the gym and I was just like on my way, coming home and I've just been thinking a lot, like a lot, a lot, um, more about what I wanna do in terms of like speaking and documenting my journey because I really wanna do that. I really wanna document more and speak more, so, I'm gonna like yeah put this on this is gonna be probably like for um youtube and i've been thinking like oh i don't know if i want to do youtube there's a lot of time like it's a lot of investment where i could you know say the same thing on tiktok but i have been really thinking things through and i have like been for a really hard like month a really hard month of just a lot of change a lot of like moments where i was just like is this even worth it um and it's very hard it's very hard i think it's hard doing something hard not having a roadmap hard as well um trying to make sure that what you are what you are doing what you're offering actually you know solves a problem really and people actually want that and you know these are just things that i'm learning along the way and it's difficult it's very difficult it's very hard but um, and I'm smiling, you know, there's been times where I've been going to sleep at like 3am watching videos on like, do not give up, do not give up. It's difficult when you have businesses hard and then like social, let's talk about social media. Like, you know, I even, I don't even want to say, but like that has just been its own ball game of like, you know, staying consistent every day and then your account, you just see it declining and declining and declining you're just like, what is going on here um but you just stay consistent today i'm not gonna i'm just gonna really rethink things i've got like a new strategy and that's like me being every day got a new strategy new strategy and it's not working but it's trust in the process i know you know these things take time and you know i was so excited about you know growing fast but also think it's so important to understand if you grow fast also you know anything that comes quick you can easily use it at the same time but you know it's just me I'm just being kind to myself in this period as well like i realized like damn i'm so hard on myself i don't know how to change it like i thrive of like moving like with intensity and urgency so like it's very difficult but i am just gonna keep on doing what i'm gonna do really yeah when i want to record my sisters are talking but this is definitely the reality of like entrepreneurship so it is six oh my god it's six um 14 i'm currently online speaking to the google store but i was speaking to them yesterday and then i kind of dozed off okay so my account i've been having this issue where emails keep ending up in spam and also i like keep on hitting the standard limit and i need so many of my emails to go out and like i have to just like everything so this morning it's the reality of it it's stressful it's you sorting out everything like no it support <laughs> just me every other day like i was literally speaking to google support like two days ago so yeah it's crazy it's really hard i would even show you me but like i'm, I'm too tired for that <laughs> The next thing I want to talk about is you need to solve a genuine, I've learned whilst building a business, is solving a genuine problem. It's not just enough to, you know, launch just any kind of business nowadays. You even need to, you know, it has to be something you're really passionate about, but you have to solve a genuine problem. Where is there a white space, which is basically a gap in the market? When it comes to like, you know, starting that um, business, how could you add something different that others are not doing. If you have like, for example, your own like service-based business for me, like what do your customers actually need? Like what I started to do now is like when I jump on, um, when I have like my sales calls before, I would always just talk about what I do, my business. But like now I've reframed it. I always do an intro, but then I also pass over to like whoever I'm talking about and ask them, in regards to you know this topic um, of finding great talent what are your pain points when you're able to identify pain points real pain points that's where you can build a foundation to make sure you are giving people you know what they want when it comes to business again topic i've learned is that people are only going to like really 
buy something that makes them feel good or like you know solves their pain you know restaurants do so well because people are always hungry and they want it it's just any business like it has to rule there has to be a problem that's why when you always have a business plan i didn't really do this until now the first thing that they always ask you is like what's the problem so i really think about i think what i've learned is making sure that i found i can find a real pain point and i can build on that um again in my business like talent is the lifeblood of every business um great talent and it's it's hard to find great talent so finding a pain point really helps mm -hmm. also another thing i've realized is that your priorities are definitely going to change when you're running and doing anything you only have time for so much because unfortunately <laughs> no, i've learned like when i've had like now i have a business right my mind is always switched on and i've spoken to a lot of other entrepreneurs and they're saying thing you're constantly thinking about what you're building and it's tough it's hard and before i remember i used to always think like everybody should be doing this everyone should be like you know have a business why is everyone i realized no like it is it's a lot it's a lot yeah it's really hard um and it comes with its ups and it's down um and it's not always yeah easy but essentially your priorities will change and you have less time for certain things in my case and a lot of people it's like you have to you are the one bringing your salary you are the one making things work no one is going to do anything for you or push you so if you're not doing it then your business won't grow and i'm learning more and more that like i have to make sure that like i put myself i put things that i'm doing first and that may mean like you know for the first few for the next few i don't know years that like this is what i'm going to be focused on fully and i prior like my priorities will change um but i'm okay with that and i've come to that realization for myself i just learned that like yeah when you're building anything doing anything priorities shift priorities change and you have to be so comfortable with that but if you enjoy what you're doing which i love like then it's 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 a win-win really because you're doing and working on things that you want and like you're doing it for yourself however i've also realized though what's super important to me is like i also know i could work really really hard a big element that i stand for is living life so i want to make sure that all that's changed though that there are moments that i can take and i enjoy it for myself it may not be the same as what everyone else finds like as like you know but for me that's it and for me i've realized maybe every quarter i have a break i go away somewhere and i enjoy myself that's what i need for that period and that works with me i've got a big trick coming and i cannot wait for it so essentially because i don't want to look back at 50 and say like wow you built so many great things but you didn't enjoy yourself like no like enjoy yourself i've learned to enjoy myself during the process as well so yeah this just brings me to the end of this video it was just really mainly like just things i'm learning the realities of entrepreneurship because it's hard you know that's why there's even a term called founders depression like it's you know i think the industry average if i'm not mistaken it's like three percent of people have depression but founders within founders like 30 percent. it is hard like if you didn't do anything um full time but but at the end of the day like when you're doing what you know you want to do and you're living you're living a life that works for you you're actually solving a problem that you genuinely care about like in my case i'm seeing great women's lives transform and change i'm able to like you know also you know run the collective dinner which brings together great women who are building who want to build things for themselves business and brands and i built this life for myself like which one year ago I had none of that i didn't have i wasn't helping women get roles i wasn't organizing dinners which i love as well like it's it's just it's it's amazing and i'm doing that on my own terms and yes there are challenges yes it's hard but i've built a path that i'm so proud of and i'm able to share this journey with you so it's i'm living on my own terms and i'm very grateful and that's the that's the beauty of entrepreneurship that's the highs right you're creating a path you're you you're your life is now like you're free to do what you want to do which i love you know you do have to work a lot still but i love it so this does bring me to the end of this video uh, on just some of the things i've been learning the ups and downs the realities of entrepreneurship it's a lot you do work a lot it's not all glitz and glam it's it's hard the a lot of effort has to go in sometimes there's balance sometimes in the beginning there's none but if you love what you're doing if you're solving a problem that you care about if you're learning 
then it's all worth it. Um, so yeah, that brings me to the end. Also, make sure, like I mentioned at the beginning, um, with I organize event, applications will be open for this. Um, so it will be on the 26th of October. We're partnering, the Ask Group are partnering with um, Stepstone for a great day. A great day, calm down. Calm down if you're interested. It's gonna be a great day. And I'm excited. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope to see some of you guys there um, on the 26th and do enjoy the rest of your day or whenever you're watching this. See ya.